Two years ago, a breakthrough study yielded evidence that taurine may help to combat aging, but a study just published seems to cast serious doubt on these earlier findings, and it's actually a great thing, as I'll explain. So taurine has been added to energy drinks for years, and recently, interest in taurine surged in relation to aging, and the study from two years ago had a lot to do with this. The study had two main findings. First, researchers found that taurine seemed to extend the lifespans of worms and mice. Second, they had a theory about how taurine helped, so their measurements indicated that taurine levels seemed to decline with age. This happened in mice, monkeys, and humans too. So the theory was that supplementing with taurine helped to counteract this drop and helped to combat some of the signs of aging. But the new study cast that into serious doubt, so researchers used a more accurate way to measure how taurine levels are affected with age. And shockingly, it was found that taurine levels didn't seem to drop. In fact, they seemed to do the opposite, they seemed to increase with age. And levels of taurine didn't seem to correlate with markers of aging. So what does this all mean for that 2023 study? Well, the key data point is this. Taurine levels don't appear to drop as we age, so this means that the proposed link between taurine and aging doesn't seem to hold. Low circulating taurine isn't a driver of aging and therefore, supplementing with taurine probably isn't going to slow it down. It seems like these results should be disappointing, but like I said at the outset of this video, the new results are actually a good thing, so let me explain why. Studies like this show us that the process of making scientific progress is working as it's supposed to. So we move forward by proposing theories, testing them, and then continuing to refine our understanding. So a key part of this process is careful, rigorous testing of our assumptions, and often retesting things that other researchers have done or already looked at. So this study gives us a great example. Researchers in that 2023 study said that taurine declines with age, but those behind this newer study had worries about those methods, so they wanted to use longitudinal data, and they did the hard work, and now we know. The earlier conclusion was too hasty. We need to go back to the drawing board, and uncovering misunderstandings is a key part of moving forward, and now we understand taurine better than we did before. Personally though, I will continue to take taurine and the reason why I do is looking at the human data. So for example, a meta-analysis found that taurine decreased fasting blood sugar levels, blood pressure, triglycerides, LDL cholesterol, HbA1c, and insulin levels. 